Hey guys, Coach Sue with Physique Development here, and I wanted to talk about five tips with getting into your fitness goals. So people come to me and they're just like, should I try carb cycling? Should I try intermittent fasting? Should I do X, Y, and Z? Should I do this kind of workout? Is hit or list better for me? Which we have a lot of videos going over a lot of those questions. But at the end of the day, when you're starting your fitness journey or when you're just trying to make strides forward, there's five things you really need to think about. One is going to be water intake, nailing down your water intake, getting a minimum of a gallon a day, 100 ounces to 130 ounces is going to be absolutely huge. It's gonna make you feel better, it's going to make you perform better, and your body does need water to be able to be moving and grooving. The next is gonna be managing stress. Again, people come asking these questions about what should I do? Should I do uh, this special carb cycle or should I only eat these foods? But at the end of the day, your stress is going to be extremely important to how your body and how your hormones respond to things. So being able to manage stress and lockdown stress is gonna be huge. The next thing is sleep. Not enough people think about sleep. They think grind, 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 grind all day, grind 24 seven, but your sleep is extremely important. Your body needs it to function. You might be thinking, no, Sue, I'm one of those people who can just function on four to six hours of sleep and I'm good to go. And I'm here to tell you that no, your body cannot function on that little of sleep and it does need sleep. Um, it needs good quality sleep. So really focusing on sleep, your sleep environment, and what that looks like for you. The other thing is just getting movement in in general. Before overcomplicating things, we want to simplify things. So something that Michael Scott taught me was KISS, keep it simple, stupid. Um, so we really wanna make sure we take that advice. It'll change your life, but a lot of things we overcomplicate when we really need to simplify it. So getting some sort of movement in, instead of trying to go from the couch to um, training and working out seven days a week, go from the couch to maybe I'm going to park further away and get some movement in. Maybe I'm gonna to go to the gym and do something, get some sort of movement in, whether that's walking your dog, whether that's going to the gym, whether that's taking a group fitness class, whatever that looks like, getting some sort of movement in. So. The four things I've mentioned so far is movement, sleep, stress, and water intake, which are very, very easy and simple to nail down and things that I often see aren't nailed down before they start asking the other questions. And the last thing is just doing one thing better than you did the day before. Again, instead of trying to go from eating all fast food to meal prepping every single meal, that's not necessarily realistic, but making a better decision. And so when you do go out to get fast food, making a better decision while you're going to get fast food, um, when you you could have parked closer but deciding to park further away when you could have had a coke but you decided to get a water whatever that may be making one decision that's going to make you better that's going to get you closer to your goals so really thinking about those five things instead of asking about the intricacies of fitness it really boils down to five simple things about getting better stress sleep water intake um, and movement Thanks so much for watching. If you have any other questions or wanna check out any other videos, give us a look at physiquedevelopment.com.